Complex organisms can arise from simpler beginnings, like this chicken from the egg. But where did the egg come from? Its parent chicken. Where did the parent come from? Its egg. And where did that egg come from? This continuity has been true since the origin of life. Since life began as a single cell, it has diversified into the many organisms that exist in the world today. Because of this continuity across generations, all the information needed to make any organism needs to be present even in the life stage with the least number of cells. The smallest this bottleneck stage can be is a single cell, so what is present in such single cells? We know of many molecules in the cell. There is the DNA genome that is information in the sequence of bases A, C, G, and T that the cell can transcribe into RNA and translate into proteins like enzymes that convert one chemical, a substrate, into another, a product. In this way, each gene sequence can be thought of as being associated with a cloud of molecules within cells. But in every case, molecules that are already present in the cell decide when a gene is transcribed, how its RNA is processed and translated into the enzyme, and where the enzyme is localized. So, what exists in a cell at any given time is dictated by the genome and by what was already present before then. This historical process of accumulation also means that the phenotype at any time cannot be logically derived from the genotype at that time, no matter how predictable it is from the genotype. The information that is passed through bottleneck stages from parent to child to grandchild is therefore held in two kinds of stores. Stores that replicate, keeping information in the same kind of molecule like the genome sequence, and stores that cycle, transferring information between different kinds of molecules, like the phosphotransfer shown in this sequence. Together, all of the replicating and cycling stores of information within single cells that serve as bottleneck stages for an organism can be thought of as the cell code for making that organism. The return to a similar configuration of the cell code in every generation must underlie the tendency of living organisms to maintain similar form and function from one generation to the next, a transgenerational homeostasis. Understanding how cell codes change despite this homeostasis impacts biology and medicine. For example, evolution occurs through descent with modification of at least the cell code. Inherited diseases could be caused by reconfigurations of the cell code. With this perspective, we can see that since life began with the first cell code, it is diversified to generate the many different cell codes that are needed for making each organism. Cell codes are transmitted from parent to child as two interdependent stores of information. The sequence information in the genome that is transmitted through replication and the arrangement of all molecules within a cell that cycle throughout the development of the organisms, such that it is nearly recreated in successive generations. In this way, cell codes perpetuate life, egg to egg, or chicken to chicken.